Welcome to Sectigo's IoT Device Security video series. I'm Alan Brow, the Vice President of IoT and Embedded Solutions at Sectigo. In this video series, we're discussing a wide range of topics related to IoT security, particularly IoT device security. Today we're talking about secure key storage for IoT devices. IoT devices use cryptographic keys for a number of purposes. They're needed for authentication when communicating to other devices, they're needed for encrypting and storing data. And again, there could be other use cases where secrets or other security keys are required. And it's critical that these keys be protected against hackers. There's three main ways that this can be achieved. The first is with a hardware secure element. So we're talking about a TPM or other hardware secure element chip that's designed specifically for providing secure key storage and cryptographic operations. So this is a physically separate chip that's got to be designed into the solution when the hardware is first designed. And with this solution, the keys can be generated on the TPM or secure element, and the, the private keys never leave the secure element, so it provides a very high level of protection. The next method is to use a trusted execution environment, such as ARM's Trust Zone. So this is a little different than a hardware secure element in that it's, in that it's a single chip solution but the solution has hardware isolation built, or has hardware support for isolating security critical operations and storage. In this case, keys may be able to be generated on the device if there's sufficient levels of entropy to ensure strong key generation and provides a high level of protection, perhaps not quite as strong as a hardware secure element, but again, a very strong level of protection. And then finally, software-based secure key storage can be utilized. And this applies for legacy devices that don't have hardware support for one of the other methods, or in some cases to very low cost devices that can't afford the additional hardware. And so this solution, keys may be able to be generated on the device, again, just depending upon whether the device has a source of entropy so that it has sufficient randomness to generate the keys. And it provides what I'm calling a moderate level of protection. It's a strong protection, but not as good as what you can do in hardware. If we look at a hardware secure element, we're talking again, it's a TPM chip or other secure element that's built specifically for performing cryptographic isolation or cryptographic operations and key isolation for IoT devices. And there's a number of vendors that provide these types of solutions. And the way it works, again, it's a physically separate chip that's hardened and generates the keys on the device. And in the case of RSA or ECC, where you've got a private and public key pair, the private key never leaves the chip. So it's very well protected. Any cryptographic operation that needs to be performed is achieved by using APIs to pass the data to the chip. The operation is performed using the private key, and then the result is passed back out. Now the public key is something that has to be shared. So there are APIs to allow sharing of the public key. So the next method is trust zone. So then again, this is a single chip solution with hardware support to separate logically the execution space and memory into a trusted or secure world and a non-trusted or normal world. And what's really key here is that everything running in the trusted world is very carefully vetted. It's very carefully analyzed to ensure there's minimal chance of security flaws in that software. And only the bare minimum of software that needs to run in the trusted space should be allowed to run in that space, thereby minimizing the chance of a security breach. Other applications and components can run in the non-trusted world. So if there's a flaw or other uh, security uh, vulnerability that occurs in the non-trusted space, even if a hacker is able to hack in, exploit that vulnerability, start executing code in the non-trusted world, they can't reach into the trusted world and steal those security keys. So again, it provides a very high level of um, of protection for the keys stored within the trusted world. And here again, those keys don't ever have to leave, at least the private keys never have to leave that trusted space. Operations are passed into the trusted space, or data is passed into the trusted space to be operated upon by those cryptographic keys. Then finally, we've got software-based secure key storage solutions. So this can be used in devices lacking a hardware, sec hardware security solution or you actually can utilize this to run the cryptographic operations in the protected world in a trusted execution environment. So this could be the method 
of doing cryptographic operations and storing keys in the trusted world within trust zone. But the way this works is there's a storage root key that's obfuscated and stored on the device, so it's stored in a manner that cannot be easily discovered by hackers. And then that key is used to encrypt or to encrypt the rest of the keys on the device. So the storage root key seals or encrypts all the other keys that are stored in the device. So again, no critical security keys are stored on the device in terms of persistent memory in a way that can be easily discovered. So again, this provides a, a good le level of security for devices that don't have a hardware-based solution to rely on. Or again, can be pulled into the trust zone environment and run in, inside of the secure world. So as you look at implementing a, a secure key storage solution, some of the considerations are understanding whether or not your device is able to generate strong or truly random um, encryption keys. So it must have enough entropy or enough access to enough random data to be able to generate keys on the device. If you don't have that, keys can be easily guessed or can be at least more easily guessed. The other option is to generate the keys off the device and then import them into the device. And that can be done through a secure programming mechanism. So some of the areas where keys are required are, again, authentication for communication section, sessions. So when you start a TLS communication session, the device can authenticate itself. So for example, if an IoT device is connecting to Azure or AWS or other cloud service, it's able to first authenticate itself before that TLS session is established. They can also be used for encrypting data on the device or can store other sensitive information. If you do have a password-based authentication mechanism, you know, the secure key storage can be used for that. Another context in which secure key storage is really critical is for key distribution and PKI use cases. So in the context of PKI or public key infrastructure, security keys play a critical role. And secure key storage needs to be a critical part of the overall strategy. PKI is a great technology. Using certificate-based authentication is a great technology. But if someone can discover the private keys, they can overcome and defeat even the best PKI implementation. So I just want to talk about one use case quick, and that's um, we we're working with a, a vendor that makes point of sale systems. They're obviously a frequent target for hackers. You get credit card information on those. And we we're working with a vendor that had a legacy system that had no hardware support to enable secure key storage. And so we were able to work with them to enable a solution to provide software-based secure key storage so they could get a solution in place quickly on their current hardware, and then work with them to start discussing their next generation design, adding a hardware secure element in future designs. And then with that, they were able to use a PKI solution so they had strong identity. So they had certificate-based authentication whenever they were connecting these devices back to a server. So just a note about Sectigo, we are a public certificate authority company, but we're also an IoT device security company. We've got robust mature solutions in the IoT space these solutions will work with a wide range of IoT devices. And you, this enables you to have a single standardized solution for protecting your devices and providing PKI. So you can visit sectigo.com to learn more and stop back again to catch another video, series, video in our series.